Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Samfix YouTube channel and this is Redmi Note 7 Pro custom ROM reviews you can see here the kernel uses 4.14.215 Azure Pixel Plus kernel obviously this is a pixel experience ROM with Android version 13 guys it's the latest available security patch you can see January 5th and uh, build number is also January 7th here you can check out which is latest and I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 10 minutes and 20 milliseconds 27 seconds and 9 milliseconds you can see maximum is 146 and average is 141 and minimum is 120 and it's a 10 thread test i would have been run 100 thread test but this is how the 10 thread test and cpu is throttled to 94 percent of its max performance and during this testing also the device was slightly got warm that you need to keep it in mind as of now it's not getting warm but during that testing it was getting a little bit of warm and this is pixel experience you won't get any uh, customization if you want that you can go to pixel experience plus and this how the settings panel and this is the home screen you get typical widgets as you can see even battery widget and even this clock widgets and some of the other widgets if you drag and hold here you get widgets here as you can see all proper android 13 and this is material u design guys it was from android 12 there was a little bit of difference compared to android 11 that is carried out throughout 12.1 12l and this android 13 have the same material u design and this is a quick settings panel one thing i disappointed here is you won't get any auto brightness sensor i mean toggle here as you can see you need to just increase or decrease the auto brightness toggle is simply missing even in the quick settings here also if i go into edit you can see anywhere is there any present check out no that i disappointed this is a pixel experience rom for redmi note 7 pro they would have been added this at least the toggle i don't think so it's not available in uh, main pixel devices it's available definitely it should there and the settings panel has been moved here and if you have any active apps it will be shown here that's the only visual differences you see in android 13 and wallpapers and style again you get these feathers new wallpapers and basic colors these are also added here plenty of them and combination of colors are also added here that's the one more thing you can see visually change in android 13 compared to android 12 12.1 12, 12 l uh, and themed icons and dark theme again it's not in pitch black you don't get any options since it's a clean pixel experience rom here also you get up to five into five and that's how it is change wallpapers as i said feathers wallpapers has been pre-installed here and dialer again you get to google dialer you get direct video call feature and call recording it will announce the other person those things remains the same here and camera application you get simple camera applications you can see this is a selfie camera and this is a back camera it's fine for basic usage it's fine actually if you want anything advanced you can use gcam port lot more gcam ports are available my recommendation is arno build gcam for redmi note 7 pro which will work fine in android 13 based roms also and benchmark results like android benchmark you can also judge the app opening type of android benchmark in this particular ram you can score see the score here 2 lakh 62138 and temperature raise was 2.3 degrees celsius and 4 percentage of battery drop during this testing of android benchmark result in this redmi note 7 pro the scores are very good even the geekbench score let me try to show you as you can see the single score is 486 and multi score is 1425 which is good in my opinion kernel again 4.14.215 azure pixel plus kernel has been used and quick settings switching between them and uh, using that those are working fine but as i said that not okay, the auto brightness toggle should have been added at least in the upcoming build they will add and regarding internet connection also i have no problem i am using fiber connection up to 100 mps even with mobile data connection also working fine it's a 4g device we get carrier aggregation 4g plus and drm information you get level one certification such that you can watch all the ott application in high definition resolution that's not the problem here and payment applications in order to use that you need to check the safety net status or the google play store certification yes it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you need to use you can use it as a definitely a daily driver rom this particular pixel experience even whatsapp is also working fine the ui is also very very smooth considering it is a android 13 rom you will get all the basic features and extraordinary features like as i said before missing this toggle would have been better if they added it 
but it's not available i am saying these things even in other devices also why they remove that i don't know that should be there in order to access that you need to go into display and you need to enable that adaptive brightness from here that simply they would have been added in the toggle itself that's the one complaint and slightly you get warm whenever you're using uh, using high task or playing games slightly you get warm in this particular room other than that it's not a problem deal breaker in this particular room you can see in dark mode is given size and text if you decrease this it looks a lot more better as you can see but in order to showcase this video i kept as usual and you can change play around them and wallpapers and customization i already shown that battery here battery usage you can check out no screen and time this is like this now screen and time we can't see hope so yeah that's how it is and i can say battery life going to be well here extreme battery saver those options are available and turn on light and battery percentage you can enable or disable from here sound and vibration again go to vibration and haptics if want you can disable some of the options like media vibration and vibrate first and then ring gradually you can enable that some of the features those things are required for some people and sound enhancer you get just headphone type and preset no hi-fi audio or even direct sound settings are also not implemented here it's a clean and clean pixel experience you get in this particular from security features i really liked it face lock and fingerprint unlock both are given let me show you one by one the fingerprint unlock just tap it you get that wobbling effect and it will get unlocked even while connecting charger also you get the same wobbling effect nothing new here and face unlock as you can see that it is going to recognize within a while yeah that's how it is it's not faster but still the fingerprint unlock is very very quick in my opinion and location and google maps all are working fine in this and social media apps are also working fine no problem regarding that and even let me show you this critical ops and by the way if you're first time to this channel guys hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like you guys can see now it's a critical ops game Yes, of course, the fancy games like BGMA and PUBG Mobile going to work fine, no problem. But I just want to show this how smooth it will handle the games just casually. No one will use it as a gaming ROM, this pixel experience. Just want to show this casually how you will play the games in this particular ROM. It's fine, no problem. It's smooth even. The touch response is up to the level. and let me change the gun okay i'll come back here the light is focusing okay uh, that's how it is and if you want to use it as a dilator definitely go ahead and use this and uh, recently i made even evolution x rom that has a little bit of customization if you want to use that you can use that rom also and lot more roms superior voice the next video will be coming on this redmi note sample stay waited for that video also subscribe to my channel guys if you are using redmi note sample i am not going to sell this device i'll be using until it dies that's how my commitment towards this redmi note sample viewers you can stay with me for long time yeah i made a little bit of delay making videos but uh, it took time for me but it was boring enough from under 12 roms it was same enough now under 13 roms i'll make each and every roms especially in my channel hit that subscribe button guys in order to make uh, in order to view those videos you can subscribe to my channel and if you like the video give it a like you can definitely use it as a dial driver it does not see any problem only two minimal things like this one going to be big thing for me the toggle should have been present here and even the getting warm while playing games heavy end games uh, that's not a problem and gesture settings and other things will remain same as you can see gesture navigation you won't get any option to increase spill length or radius those things will be in the customized roms like evolution x or pixel experience plus roms those will have some customization this is clean and clean ui if you are looking for that kind of rom you can go ahead and flash this rom and use it as a daily driver for a couple of months and update the versions i mean don't dirty flash it clean flash it that's my recommendation anyhow we get a decrypted rom that flashing fb that four version you will be using that but clean flash it 
you will have better experience we'll meet with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now